Hello everyone, welcome to the Daily Nature Journal. So today I'm down by the harbour heading towards the beach. It's coming into low tide now, so I'm going to see if I can find some fossils and look for some seabirds while I'm at it. So there's the white cliffs over there. And here's the river mouth. Willow here has come out into these lovely catkins and this is a male one and you can tell because this is the yellow of the pollen that it's distributing. An early bumblebee gathering the pollen there. It's been attracted to this wonderful willow. And you can see all of the pollen on his legs. It's such a fantastic sight. There's some hoverflies here too. The bumblebee, his entire belly is completely covered in the pollen. And all of this is going on right here by the sea. When the tide's really low like this, you get to see a lot of the sand that's here on the beach as well. And you get these little protected lagoons like this. That are in between two rows of rock. But you can never guarantee it because every storm kind of shifts everything that little bit more. So it's always a little bit different. I know this is going to be really cold, but I can't really resist it. Now tell me in the comments, if you were here, would you be braving the cold water too? I mean, I'm not quite brave enough to go in for a swim, but I'm sure going to get my feet wet. Let's try. We're going. Yeah, that's really cold. It is really cold. But while we're here, we can have a little look around. There's lots of seaweeds in here. You can see all of the red rock here. And this area is famous for this red rock. It's a sandstone. And you can see it in the cliffs up here. My feet are really cold. So you tell me in the comments, do you like to paddle or swim in the cold sea? And uh, how cold is the sea right now where you are? Perhaps it's not even cold at all. Even though it's really cold, it's kind of really relaxing and nice to still walk on this rock by the sea like this. I don't know. I don't really mind the cold. And it's nice to feel all this sand too, because we don't really get much sand here in Seaton. What we've got mostly is pebbles. Seventeenth of March, a full moon tomorrow, so a good low tide. Lots of sand to walk on. I got barefoot as soon as I could. The sand damp and cool. The sea utterly frigid until acclimatized, and then very good. You start to notice the differences in temperature between still and moving water. A distinct further chill as a wave washes in. And all this discernment out of an initial smoke screen of it's just cold. It makes the sun all the warmer, and after yesterday's continuous and dismal rain, it's a further loosening of winter's grip. The plants are gaining from this spring's near alternation of rain and sun. One day on, the next off. They grow luxuriously, and many trees are already in bud burst. Here by the sea, the willow at the cliff bases joins the coltsfoot in displaying the season's colour and I watched a bumblebee coat its underside in pollen, a yellow belly against a blue sky. So that's all for today. I really hope you've enjoyed following me along on this lovely walk along the beach. So I'm not going to be here for a few days, I've got family visiting. So 
I hope you have a nice few days nature journaling and I'll see you in my next video.